Hey guys, let's do a couple of quick word, ugh, problem, not problems, puzzles. Okay, all right. Sometimes Saxon math uses questionable language. I hate to uh, admit, but anyhow, I've taken care of that here. Don't even think about the word problem at all. Try to get the word problem out of your mind completely. Okay, let's do a practical one here. The hobbits and dwarves had a banquet. If 70% of attendees were hobbits, and 120 dwarves were present, how many hobbits came? And again, let's do this. We can draw a picture, right? Always draw a picture if you're kind of having trouble visualizing this. If you're a nasal learner, don't forget to bake something and sniff it before you do these problems. Something maybe has something to do with banquets. All right, well, here we go. 70% of hot were hobbits, okay? Well, there's 70% right there. Those are hobbits. Or let's say, as some person would say, hobbitses. And I think you know who I'm talking about here. All right, and 120 dwarves were present? Well, that's the 120. Those are the dwarves. Okay. All right, how many hobbits came? Well, I, what's that number? Okay, well, first off, uh, 120 is what percent? If that's 70%. It's 30%, right? 30% we can write. Okay, so we have an English sentence that we need to come up with, which is this. Ready? 120 is 30% of what number? Does that make sense? Okay, all we've done is just draw a little thing, figured out, hey, that's 30%, and 120 is 30% of what number? We can solve that, right? All right, so we got 120 is 30%, let's say 0.3 of X, right? And of course, let's be a good-hearted person and go left to right. And that goes over and then over again. So X is equal to, excuse me, 3X is equal to 1,200 and divide by three. So the entire shebang of the attendees at the banquet was 400, right? Okay. Well, how many hobbitses came? Well, that's 70%, right? Or you could just say, well, 120 dwarves came and subtract that from 400, which would give you 280. Or you could just say, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to go 70% or 0.7 times 400. What is that? Well, let's see, over one is seven and over one this way is seven times 40. When lo and behold, that is 280. And there you go, that's all you need to do. And don't forget, if you, you're looking at this and going, oh, I forgot how to, you know, you can just go blue equals blue, and then 120 is 30% of what number? Well, 30%, yoink, 120, 120, what number? There you go, cross multiply, you'll get your whole number. But don't, make sure you don't forget, that's not your answer. I mean, 400 is not your answer. That's the entire bunch of attendees at the banquet. You're trying to figure out how many hobbits is, is came. So it'll be 70% of 400 once you find that. And there you go. Just kind of an extra step there. That's pretty much all. Try another one. All right. A hyperactive youngster ate 120% more M&Ms this year than last year. If he ate 140,800 M&Ms this year, how many did he eat last year? Okay. So we're looking for last year. All right. Quick question for you. Uh, if you eat 120% more, what is your new percentage that you're dealing with? 120% more, and you started with 100%, which you always do. <clears throat> if you do 120% more, that means your new percent is 220%. In other words, think about this. You're, you're making $10 an hour at a job, right? Your boss says, you're doing a great job. I'm going to give you a 50% raise from now on. You're going, yeah. Okay, and the boss goes, okay, yep, next week you're going to be, you're, you'll be making $5 an hour next week. And you're like, well, wait, 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 that's not as much. I'm unhappy. And your boss goes, what do you mean? 50% raise, that's $5 an hour. You're making $5 an hour. And you go, well, I was making 10. Shouldn't you add that five to the 10? And he goes, no. and, okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, same thing here. If it's 120% more, that means you're adding the 120% 
to 100%. Your new percentage is 220%. Do not forget that in these problems from now on when they say blah, blah, blah percent more. Automatically go ahead and add 100 to whatever percent that is. Okay. All right. Well, the question then that we have to write out in English, I'll start you off. You ready? 140,800 is what? 220% of what? That's right. Okay, that's what we're trying to figure out. And we can, of course, write this. This is an equation. 140,800 is 220%. We can just write 2.2 if we want, or if you didn't see that, you could go 220 over 100. Of what? That means multiplied by what? There we go. Okay. And of course, let's be uh, good patriotic Americans here and go left to right. Okay. And then of course, piece of cake, right? You just multiply by the reciprocal and multiply this by the reciprocal. And you're going to get eight, excuse me, X is 64,000. If you do the arithmetic, all that, all that jazz. Okay. All right. That good. Okay. Don't forget the other way to do this is just to go blue equals blue and go, okay. Uh, my new percentage is 220%. So that's 220 over a hundred. Then I've got an amount that I don't know. And then I have 140,800. Now, wait a minute, this is more, yeah, and this is the one he ate this year, and then the X goes down there, and then you got, there you go, you can cross multiply that exact same way as well if you want to. Okay, that's pretty much it, all right. Let's try practice problem A, pause it, give it a whirl. Okay, well, let's look at it. 60% of those at the performance were neophytes, or newbies, I guess we would say these days. Okay, well, let's draw a picture. All right, here we go. Yep, 60% are neophytes. Okay, that's 60%. They're neophytes. 200 present were not neophytes. Uh-oh, so 200 are there are not neophytes. How many people attended the performance? In other words, we, don't, we want to know what the entire thing is. Okay, well, again, if we see 200 and we know that this part is 60%, what does this have to be? 40%, right? Okay. In other words, the, the English sentence we are saying, we're, we're saying 200 is 40% of what? 200 is 40% of what? So we just write it. 200, let's go ahead and skip a step, is 40% of what? Right? Okay. Well, that's an easy problem to figure out. There we go. That's going to be a 4x. I move it over. Move this over. It turns into 2,000. So 4x equals 2,000. Divide by 4. 2,000 divided by 2 is 1,000. 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. There we go. The entire number of people who did the comp, uh, the uh, performance were, you know, 500. Okay? And if you wanted to do, you know, 200 is 40% of what? In other words, 200 is 40% of what? You could go like this. Fraction equals fraction. 40%, there's two of the blanks, right? Four out of 10, if you want to do it that way. Of what? We have a what? We have a 200. Well, the number we're looking for is more than 200, right? So that needs to be on the bottom. And then the 200 is on top. Let's do the uh, arithmetic here. So four times X, four X. 10 times 200, well, one times two is two. One, two, three. One, two, three, zero is exactly the same equation as you got right there. Boom, there you go. All right, pause it and try B. Okay, well, production increased by 145%. Now, you tell me, what percent are we dealing with now in this problem? 245%, right? If it increased by 145%, that means you know, it more than doubled, right? It, 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 something increases 100%, well, that's double what it was last year or last month or whatever. So our new percentage is 245%. The number of widgets this year was 171,500. 
how many were produced this last year. In other words, okay, what we're saying is this. Here's the question. 171,500 is 245% of what? 175,500 is 245% of what? I'll just put W. And now we can make this into an equation, right? 171,500, oops, forgot the, is 245%, let's just call it 2.45, of what times x, right? So 2.45, there we go, okay. So what's the answer? It's going to be 70,000, right? There we go. Okay. That's it. All right. Hope that went well today. Uh, make sure you look at this if you need to again, and make sure you know that if you increase by some percent, you're adding that to 100%. Okay. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a uh, good time doing these today. I'll see you next time.